All right, I want to show you an example of how nature helps parents and elders to explain anatomy and physiology to young learners um, that will help validate any insight that they have about the internal workings of the body. So this is a cabbage and let me cut it in half. Okay, so um, this is not an exact replica of the brain, but you can see how using the cabbage would help you to explain the lobes, the stem, um, the uh, glands in ways that will validate a child or a young adult's learning process. When you allow them to lead the learning, meaning that they ask the question and then you understand based on why they're asking what aspects you need to educate them about because they're ready. They have a frame of reference where they know something, there's something else, but they're not really sure about it. Um, and this nature will always have something available to help teach anatomy and physiology. You don't have to cut somebody's head open in order to teach them about the brain. But in 2024, there's so much um, material like that, that you, you know, that you're actually using real brains and, you know, so on and so forth, that you, you shouldn't need to do that anyway. But I wanted to make sure that I, I showed that because this will also help validate any insights that they themselves have about the internal workings of the body. And as you explain it to them, they may realize that they understood that already or could visualize it somehow, but now it makes more sense. So I hope that helps someone. Oh, and then you can eat it. <laughs>